Howdy folks, this is Jared with Flutie Lake Homestead, and boy, I am in a mess today. Yesterday, I bought a nice young black heifer cow, and I hauling it in my horse trailer bought it about 30 some miles from the house here and uh, I was hauling it in my horse trailer got within a mile one mile of my house and I had we had a board uh, tied up at the top so she couldn't get her head up and jump well somehow she jumped up got her legs and heads over that board and then I seen her nose stick out the side of the trailer and before I could get stopped, she jumped out of the horse trailer, hit the blacktop. I'm going about 20-some, 30 miles an hour probably at this time. So I stop, and she heads down the highway. And luckily, she gets off in the grass. And I uh, borrow a phone from a lady there that I know. Called home, and we had some people come down. And uh, we chased it up and down one little holler and almost got her to run back to the trailer. And then she darted up this little strip mine road and uh, we lost track of her then. We found just a... Okay, we're heading up this road and uh, the cow trotted up this little path and I don't know how far she's went, but hopefully she's uh, right up here at the top and we can get a hold of her. So we'll find out here. Okay, you probably can't see me real good now, but um, the cows, gonna we'll have to stay up on the mountain for the night uh, we've walked as far as we can go and I can't tell nothing about where she's at so um, as you can see it's pitch black so uh, I'll just have to come back in the morning and I'm gonna go back up there and retrace my footsteps and hopefully um, she has not crossed the ridge and she'll be close by but we'll find out tomorrow there's nothing really else I can do tonight um, <clears throat> I'm gonna go to the house and uh, get some feed and bring down here and some hay and put in my horse trailer and leave the doors open for the night. I got it backed in between two fence posts and um, I've got two extra gates I'm gonna bring down. That way we can try to kind of corral her in there if she'll come back down the same way. Um, we'll find out, I don't know. I'll be worried sick all night about it, but uh, there ain't nothing else I can do about it as far as I know, so. We're just going to hope and pray that everything goes good and she stays around and doesn't get in the hurt or chased by coyotes. So uh, we'll be back in the morning. Today is the next morning. I've already been out. Me and the good fella that I bought her off of, he come to help me look. We've uh, walked around this morning and uh, still didn't find nothing. So I've come home for a lunch break. And I just now got a call. Luckily, I've called the sheriff's office and everywhere to keep them on the lookout. I just got a call from a man, the same people I borrowed their phone from, and they just seen her behind their house by a cemetery. So we're going to go now and try to get her up the highway and put her in this little pasture so we can uh, get her calmed down enough to get her back in a trailer. So it's been a very, very scary, worrisome situation, but hopefully we'll uh, get the upper hand here and get it under control. Me and Dale's heading down the highway Find the cow the man spotted. We're gonna see if we can wrangle it in. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we'll get her. Yeah. Uh, she, she ain't gonna be for No. We open this gate here. We'll try to run her in here if we need to into this little pasture with this barn. That way uh, we can hem her up. We got her up here on this hill here and she's coming around in front of my dad around this cut through going to try to get her back over here into this fence. We got her back in the trailer. She come around and walked right in here to the feed. So we're going to lock her up and take her to the house. This here is the cattle wrangling crew. Some of the finest fellers ever drunk water. We got her put in the barn here now and ain't got to worry about it no more. So I appreciate you fellers. Buddy, you're well. Yeah, anytime. So now we'll leave her in here for a while and we got her gated up this time. She ain't going to get out of there. <laughs> That'd be nice. 
<laughs> we got the cow back in the barn now. Took three or four of us, but we got her um, pushed back down the hill. And uh, she jumped right back up in the trailer, slick as a whistle. And um, Dale threw a gate behind her, and we got her in there good and put a board on the back this time so she couldn't jump out and bust it. And uh, had a sheet of plywood with us, so that worked out well. But we're going to leave her locked up here for a few weeks and get her used to us. And then I'll uh, turn her out in the pasture with a bale on so I can keep an eye on her. But she's a pretty thing. She's about uh, six months, seven months old. Probably 700 pounds. And jet black. I sure appreciate everybody that helped me get this cow back. And everybody that uh, shared my post and helped me keep an eye out for her. And uh, that's one good thing I like about our community. Everybody will pull together and help you when you need it. So I appreciate y'all watching. And I hope y'all have a very blessed day.